We're now here inside the Florida Oceanographic Center where they offer many different exhibits for visitors, including the common octopus. Brittany, tell us a little bit about this guy. All right, so common octopus and all octopi are actually um, the most intelligent cephalopods there are, meaning headfoot, so that's also the squids and things like that. So because of that, we give him a little bit of training too, so the turtles aren't the only one get, that get the fun. Um, octopus are pretty common escape artists, and that's normally because they're bored, so I try and keep him on board by giving him little tests every day. Um, they're really good with their arms, as you can see as he's climbing around on the tank, and um, he's able to do really cool stuff with that. First of all, they're really strong, so when I first tried to train him, I just did snap lids. Well, now we've moved on to twist lids, and now we're on to one jar of different size inside of another jar. So that's really even though it seems easy for us, it's, it's harder for him because it's changing the way he holds it. With the big one, he can kind of get it just a little bit past and rip it open with his strength. Where the smaller one, it's more of kind of uh, harder for him to get it open. He has to kind of work his body a little bit different, right. to find out one way to hold it still and twist at the same time, and then he'll slurp the food out. So what would this guy be eating in the wild? In the wild, he would be eating crabs and clams. He actually was found, clever little guy, inside of a crab trap. So he was just sitting there waiting as his food was being brought to him and trapped inside. Uh, so he was eating, yeah, clams and crabs. They use that sharp beak to uh, break through uh, most of the time. And all octopi have amazing camouflage that they use to hide from predators and also probably to catch their food sometimes. Yeah, uh -huh, really, really good. Um, Camouflage. They can change the texture of their skin as well as the color. So they have pretty complex eyes to allow them to match that background really closely. Obviously here he knows he's at no threat and we know he's here so he doesn't really camouflage that often. But they do also um, exhibit their behaviors and the way they're feeling through the, co the colors as well. Red flashing normally means they're frustrated or angry, while as pale is normally scared, uh, kind of both are used in defense, and then this kind of mottled color you see him right now is normally just regular hungry octopus. <laughs> so why do you do this training with them? Um, well, I don't want him to test weaknesses of the tanks, to tell you the truth. Uh, we have tanks of fish all around him, and I don't want him sneaking out in the, in the nighttime and <laughs> gobbling up my other animals. So um, I keep him busy and kind of trying to keep his mind on other things. Yeah. And so he thinks that the most fun is in this tank and not in other things. So. Can we get a chance to see him try to open yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go around the back and sink it in. Excuse me if he tries to grab my hand. He gets a little crazy <laughs> when I go back there, but uh. Oh, we grabbed it really fast. Introduce Hermie the Turtle into his new home.